If you're looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a referral. So, I bought and played Grand Theft Auto 5 on PS3 day 1 when it came out, beat it, and I also bought it on PlayStation 4 um, when it came to the new consoles, but I pretty much barely played it on PlayStation 4 because it typically still felt like the same game. Yeah, the visuals were a little better, but it still felt like the same game. I just booted up and played Grand Theft Auto 5 on PC. And I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I feel like I pl just played the game for the first time ever. I feel like I'm really just playing the real game for the first time ever. Listen, y'all know I'm not the one and I usually don't go around, you know, screaming the whole PC version is better thing because it's common knowledge. You know, I feel like there's really no reason for me to say it. It just should be accepted. It's redundant to say the obvious. If people want to deny the truth, then let them deny it. I feel no reason to kind of push a belief on somebody of a game being superior on a certain platform. But let me tell you, if you have played Grand Theft Auto 5 on consoles, you have not played Grand Theft Auto 5 yet. I am sorry to be the one to inform you. It's, it's the cold, hard truth. You have not played Grand Theft Auto 5 yet. You have not played this game until you get a PC and you play this game at 60 frames per second at whatever high resolution you choose. Like I said, I play on all of these platforms. I have an Xbox One, I have a PS4, I have a PC. I like them, I like them all. Everybody knows that. You know, I'm a multi-platform gamer, right? And I'm not the one to go around screaming the whole PC elitist thing. If I do, it's just me trolling, it's just me joking around. No. This time, I am so serious with everything I am saying. You have not played Grand Theft Auto V yet. This is, this is the first time today. April 13th, 2015 is the first time I'm playing Grand Theft Auto V. Truly. I thought the first time I played it was September, whatever date it came out in 2013. No, this is the first time I'm truly playing it. The difference is that big. The game runs so smooth. It looks so good. It is so optimized. One of the big problems I had with GTA 5 on consoles was the movement and the frame rate drops and how it felt clunky clunky right now in this video I was using mouse and keyboard of course free aim because it makes no sense that you would have auto lock on even when I played it on consoles I never had auto lock on because I feel like that's pointless and stupid and it felt so smooth aiming exactly where I wanted to with my with my mouse and keyboard so accurate 60 frames so smooth and the movement, even the actual, you know, movement in the game on the consoles, it felt weird. Like when I moved the characters, it didn't seem like they really were go was going where I wanted it to go. It felt like the character was falling over themselves. I don't know if they made altercations to the actual movement for the PC version, but it definitely feels like, like they did. Because I, I can remember on consoles, very vividly, it always felt like my character was falling over himself. In this, the movement of the character actually, it, it, it's it's one to one with what I want them to do. And usually I don't use mouse and keyboard when it comes to third person shooters. No, it it's working for me with GTA 5 on PC. It's working very well. I, I'm telling you, this is this is the glory of PC gaming right here. When it's done right, it shines so brightly and nothing can come close to touching it. 
You want to make fun of all those delays? Go ahead. I never actually waited because I beat the game on on the, on PS3, like I said. So I got the game on consoles. But if I were, if I did wait up to this point for the PC version and I didn't play it on consoles, I would not be upset because it is well worth the wait because I feel like I'm playing the game for the first time, like I said. So it wouldn't have made a difference to me because right now I feel like this is a brand new experience. And for those who have never PC game before, you're not gonna understand. You're, you're, you're not, they're not gonna get it. They're just gonna think it's just better graphics or something like that. It's just PC gamers being graphics or no, it's not that. It's the performance, it's how smooth the game is, it's everything. It just feels new. This is truly the definitive version. For those of you who have never PC game before, who don't have, you know, a, a PC, or you're afraid to make that leap, trust me, games like this make it completely worth it. Look at Solid Rev. Solid Rev wasn't the biggest fan of PC, but he gave it another shot. He got one from uh, Cyber Power PC, I think it was, because if you don't want to put the PC together, you can just, you know, um, pick pick your parts. They put it together for you and ship it to you. And he's enjoying his PC thoroughly. He's enjoying PC gaming. You can look at his vids. You would have thought that man, Solid Rev, looked like he just found like a new wife or something. That man looked like he just fell in love. Like he he sounds different in his videos when he talks about PC gaming. He sounds like a new man. That I'm so serious. Go go listen to his videos. He sounds like a happy person. He sounds like a genuine happy person. PC gaming. I'm telling y'all, man, y'all need to get up on this. Like, like I said, for those of y'all have been apprehensive, you don't gotta put it together. If if it's if it's the money, listen, man. I don't know. Start start a side hustle, get a better job, save up, save up, save up, because it's worth it. I'm telling you, it's worth it. And it's not like I don't experience a difference between the console version of games and the PC versions versions of games also, right? That that's all the time because I buy all my multiplats on PC if they're available. And the PC version generally 90 more than 90% of the time is always better. But this is probably the biggest difference from a console to a PC game that I have experienced in a long in, in a, probably in a long time right the difference between them is just amazing it, it, it's mind-blowing like i said this ain't no type of endeavor for uh from me to tr to make others feel inferior about their i don't care about that i care about telling you the truth and that's what this is let me know what y'all think i'm out of here peace But we know that you will show mercy to our friends.